Okay, now on the second bit, there may be three videos out of this. Um, what we're going to do now is to take this movie that we've made here, Podcast One, and we're going to put it into um, GarageBand. So double click on GarageBand, create a new episode. Now it's going to ask you to save it. Let's practice a safe saving. Uh, and uh, we've got the site folder in the left hand column here. Always put the folder that you're working on most up here next to your desktop. That's what I reckon anyway. Now what are we going to do? What are we going to call this? Podcasts. Yeah, that's probably right. We haven't got anything in that folder. So we'll put it in the podcast folder. What should we call it? Uh, podcast 1. Um, podcast 1. There's a, an incredibly um, original name for it. Okay, and it opens up. Now, okay, so now how do we do this then? Well, we've got it there, the podcast one file, you can just see it. Um, we're going to drop it up onto this track, which it says podcast track. And an interesting thing happens, which says a project can contain either a podcast track or a movie track. Do you want to replace a podcast track with a movie track? The answer is yes, we do, because we want a movie track. OK, come back down. And here it is, uh, creates thumbnails. If you do a big movie, it takes a lot longer, obviously. And what we've got is now the movie track there. And let's just play that. There's a movie track happening. See that? It's pretty cool. And we've got uh, the audio track or the soundtrack from the movie there as well. So we could even, if for instance, we find that that audio track, let's say the audio track's a bit light and we actually want it a bit, bit, uh, a bit higher you know a bit uh, louder you could grab this and drag it up so do you see what I've done there I've um, opened up this which is uh, the volume track volume and I've dragged it up to the top position that I can get it to hit that and and, and it comes out louder now the next thing I want to do is to add an introduction sound to it because I like doing that and you can't really, you don't have a lot of control and I'll show you the difference in control you get in GarageBand than you get with um, the new iMovie 8. Okay, well to do that I need to look at my music. Now audio, when I click on audio, uh, make your life easier by making sure that your iTunes has some uh, particular folders or sorting mechanism for particular for, for things that you want. Now, I like Tom Waits, so I've created in my iTunes a smart folder in which anything by Tom Waits ends up. Now I'm going to search in that smart folder for intro because this is my signature tune. I love it. Here we are. Let's have a listen to it. Click on the intro. Click on the play button and we should hear it. Yeah, that's the stuff. Whoa! Okay, that's cool. Now, what we need to do here is grab that and drag it on. You'll notice with um, with GarageBand you can drag it on to anything that remains with a plus on it. Um, it'll allow you to drag it on to, or is that right? No. Uh, but most of the time it does. So anyway, I'm going to drag it onto the, the grey area here because I want it as a separate track so I can play with it. I I think it's better to keep um, everything that you add on to it on a separate track because then you can play with it without affecting other things. You know, you can play with the volume for just that, which which then doesn't affect anything down the track. Down, down the track. Sorry. Uh, okay. Now, let's play it and see what it sounds like. Eh? When we've got this. Now you can hardly hear me. Right. So what we're going to do is do a thing called ducking. And ducking is pretty simple. You'll notice that here there's a set of arrows, one going up, one going down. When you click the top one, it uh, says, I want that track dominant. 
and that's the movie soundtrack see movie track and this one comes up automatically the opening intro comes up as duck down if it's not then you can just duck it down so what I'm saying to it is uh, when there's sound on this track here I want this track to be quietened down right Radio. so now let's see what that sounds like Now that's much better. However, I don't want it to continue through the whole song, and this is what you can't do through the whole podcast. This is what you can't do with um, iMovie. At least I haven't found the ability to do it with the new iMovie. So at this point in the broadcast, I want to click on that line. So what I've done is I've brought up the, the track volume here. See this? Clicked on that button, got the track volume. Clicked on the top of that line, because that's where I want it to start to fade click on this line here and then drag that down so now if I listen to it from here see nice and I can change that that fade point too I can drag it out to there if I want and so it's a longer fade through okay so that works really well I like that now I'm pretty happy with that okay but there's more yes Let's click on the movie track and then go to the information button and you will see what actually comes up. So if you go back to the beginning of the movie again and hit it, you'll see it and hear how the podcast is going to play. But there's more to it again and that is I want to change it to, I want to put what goes into onto the web page when I do it and also onto the RSS uh, the really simple server file which is what iTunes m uh, music store reads in order to put your information up so you've got to have this right so let's uh, let's zoom in on that um, there we are okay it's my ugly mug um, okay what am I going to call it uh, my first podcast Oh, in fact, my first video podcast. How about that? Um, my first video podcast. Okay, who is it? It's me. Um, Dave Brown, is that? Who's the composer? Dave Brown again. Parental advisory. Well, I'm a fairly crass bugger. So I might put explicit on it just for a bit of fun. Description. Uh, now, that's the bit that, that comes up when you press the little I button on... Um, on the iTunes after you download it uh, and then you look at it on the right hand side of the column you'll see a little I button this bit comes up um, this uh, is my life poor as it is exclamation mark lol <laughs> oh, I've got such a sense of humor okay now um, <coughs> we've got this right now that's all I need to do with that, really. I mean, you could put jingles on it and different bits and pieces, but we're not going to do that. That's already covered in my series on GarageBand, because the difference is minimal between the two. Right, I think it's time to, for us to export this into iWeb, don't you? Let's do it, eh? Let's send it. Send movie to iWeb. You see, you can send it to iTunes, iWeb, iDVD export movie to a disc or burn a song to a CDD, CD but uh, I'm gonna send it to iWeb now it says optimize for playback on iPod models that support video 25 frames a second uh, the size audio stereo estimated size 36 megabytes now I've found um, and I could be proved wrong here and probably will be that it's not actually all that good at estimating it